Hello, students. Good, good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. Are you there? Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Marco. How are you? Fine, fine. Thanks, and you? Oh, pretty good. Thanks for asking. So, tell me, how was your day? Was oh, good. Well, it was good, but something tiring. Oh, honestly. Yeah, I, I know that could you know could have been hard. So, but did you enjoy what you did? Did you have fun about what you did a little bit? Yes. Yes. It was it's really good what I did. Okay, so that's great to know that. You know, so welcome Marco uh, to our English class. And also I know that you know you make a, an incredible effort to be here in the class today, but I know that you can achieve the goals about learning English, and we understand how important is that one. Um, do you watch TV in English or serious or I don't know, something that can help you to improve English? Well, I'm, well, uh, I have a little time, but I try to read a book in English or a topic that I am very interested in, and I try to watch a series in, in, in English too. Okay, that's, that's valuable. Definitely that they can help you. And that's one of the recommendations that I give my students to try to be in contact with English because in everything they do, English, you know, it's very important as a priority too. So let's welcome guys to our English class. I know that some, some of you are joining right now in the, the class. And this is very, very necessary to show that we are the best. Wow, this is the best way for all of us to improve English. And, you know, this is the last class for this level because you will go on, guys, with a different one. And I know that in every class, in every session, we learn something new. And this conference is the number 16. It's a little bit more than practice. And I'm pretty sure that we will have fun and enjoy this class. So, Claudia, are you ready? Hello, teacher. Hi. Hi, ready? Oh, sorry. That's great to know. Okay, welcome. And guys, please don't forget to turn on the cameras. It's important to have the cameras on and also, you know, uh, to see your complete names here in the screens. Remember that is something that Insafor requests from all of you in order to be part of this class. So let's start. Before that we start the class, because it's very necessary to me to make sure that we have a great feedback, I would like to ask you, um, what did we do yesterday in the class? What do you remember? What we did? Give me some ideas about it. Yes. Uh, well, we started yesterday. Give me some ideas, guys. Don't be quiet. Oh, yes. Uh, would, could, please, and make re uh, requests and statements. Amazing. Rebecca, right? Yes. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Definitely that we were starting that one. Uh, especially when we... Uh, uh, need that somebody can give some information to someone else, especially we're talking about uh, messages with tell and also some other expressions. That's right. Okay, as part of the first review, because this is a review for all of us, we will have uh, yeah. a short time to, um, you know, practice. And also it's going to be more practical than something else. And we have the first activity. Look at this one. One second. Do you see my presentation? Could you tell me that? Yes, teacher. Okay, you see my presentation. That's awesome. I will share. I will share the link of the following conversation. But before that, we do that. Uh, I just need to um give you some instructions before we start the first activity. Uh, there is somebody connected here in this class. It says Samsung. I don't know who is the student. Can you check because you had to have your complete name on, on the screen? Uh, does anybody, is anybody connected with the name Samsung? I don't know if you can switch that and write your name there. 
So let me um, check right here in the chat. Okay, so I will explain you what to do with the following information here. Okay, what you had to do is listen to the following conversation, have access to, uh, one second. Uh -huh. In the screen. Okay, that's right. Okay, so what you had to do, guys, is to listen to the following conversation and you will answer the following questions. And guys, please don't forget to have the camera camera on. The first one, what is the man's name? So you had to listen to the conversation. You have to take notes about the following uh, equation. Uh, where is the man from? That is the second one. Number three, how old is the man? And where did the man meet Sarah? And Sarah's older sister is worried that Nick. Um, so you had to add extra information according to what you're listening in the conversation. So for that reason, we are going to start right now and also check the audio. And please do me the favor that when you are ready, you say, teacher, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready or not yet? No yet. Okay.
ready. Thank you. Ready, teacher. Okay. Okay, so let's try now, guys. Well, um, according to the conversation before, I would like to ask you, it was clear for you the information given in the conversation? Did you understand everything that was said in the conversation? Uh, yes. It was clear. Yes. Perfect. Okay, that's awesome. That, that is something important. And also look, uh, focus about the pronunciation of the vocabulary. It's definitely nice to know. Well, let's check this one. What, the, what is the man's name according to the conversation? Nick. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Nick. Okay. Um, do you have the same answer, guys? Do you have the same answer? Yes. Okay. And where is the man from? Yes. Where is the man from? Hello. Um, originally from Brownsville. He's original, original from Brownsville. Okay. All right. Okay. And how old is the man? How old is he's 22? He's 22 years old. Okay. Interesting. And where did the man meet Sarah? And where did the man uh, meet Sarah? Help me with that, please. Yes? In a language class. A, a language class? Okay. Okay. Um, Sarah's older sister is worried that Nick, what do you get from that? He's going to be a Nick, a Nick did in front of all scars. Okay. It's, uh, you have the same answer? Yes. That's cool. Okay, so this is great. As I told you before, guys, one of the most valuable parts about this listening is that you can focus in the accent and also the pronunciation plus the vocabulary and the level of comprehension we have for every single class. Great job, guys. And let's see the next one. I will share the following uh, link related to this conversation and also focus in this important part of this. You had to listen carefully the following conversation and you had to respond to the following questions. What is the man's name? Where was the man born? Which sentence best describes his university status? Where does the man work? What is one, one thing the man likes to do in his, his free time? So let me show you the link right now here. Okay. okay, now you will have access to the chat and you will see here the link of this conversation. Listen and focus in some important details about a conversation. Okay, can you see it? Can you see the link? No. Look at the chat. No, teacher. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, well, let's try it again. Try it again. Yeah, I know what could be the problem. 
Okay, I think you will see it now, right? Yes, now yes. Excellent. Okay, so you can have access to the link. Let's practice. Ready. Ready. Okay, so let's see here um, the conversation. Uh, was uh, was a clear conversation? Was easy for you guys? Hello. So so, so so. Okay, fifty fifty or more than fifty. More than fifty. Okay, that's right. That's great. What about you guys? Tell me. Activate your microphone and talk. That's good. Yes. Sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, the, all the students. Uh, do you understood the conversation, guys? Yes. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. So let's uh compare the answers right now. Okay. Uh, the man's uh, what is the man's name according to the conversation? Greg. Greg. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Uh, where was the man born? Colorado. 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 Yeah, it was Colorado. Um, and which sentence best describe his university studies? He is in three years of students. 
Okay. He and is with your students. Mm -hmm. where, where does the man work? At a grocery store. A, a grocery store. A grocery store. Okay, that's great. And uh, what is one thing a man likes to do in his free time? Mm. Reading. Mm. Okay. That's great. Okay, congratulations, guys, for the work done. Definitely, that is very interesting to talk about that. And especially uh, when we are, like, describing, you know, uh, some specific places and studies at university, too. Most of us, we have some personal goals or projections about what to study. Well, let's go with the next activity. Okay, so what we had to do is that we will read the following conversation. Well, this is a short paragraph or article we could say. After we read the article, we will respond some questions that I will share with you guys. Um, also remember that I sent it to you uh, the presentation of PowerPoint in our WhatsApp group. So I need two volunteers to read the following paragraph. Who wants to help me to read the first part and I will choose the second, the second students to read the second part. Who wants to help me to read the first one? Rebecca? Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so, so Rebecca, raise her hand first. Okay, Rebecca, you can try. So thank you. Uh, okay, some friends come into our life for just a short time. Others come and stay forever. Think about your closest friend. How long have you known each other? Some people say that their spouse or family member is their best friend. Others say they have known their closest friend for many, many years. And some, some great friends have, haven't known each other all that long, but knew right away that there was a connection or bond between them. Could it be that there is twin spirits out there for each of us? Oh, thank you so much. And um, who wants to help me to read the second part? Of me, teacher. The... Okay. What turn and started for acquaintance into a friend? Do you know right, right away? If you are going to like someone some people think that any stranger can become a friend if they spend an hour time together. That may, that may be true for some people, but one thing most of you uh, agree on is that true. Friendships seem to happen with, when people have something in common on fair purpose. I don't know. We see a part of, of all the best in all friends. Maybe seeing to go in them help you to see the good in use of as a well. Okay, guys. Well, after reading this um short, uh, reading this paragraph, we will have to answer the following questions here, and I don't know if you can take a peek. Well, by the way, I sent it to you the presentation so you can have it. But also, I will share uh, the equations. So who wants to help me to take a picture about these equations? And also, you had to answer it true or false. Please uh, do me the favor to take a picture and send it to the group. I need a volunteer. Uh, let me know if you could do that. Okay, uh, Dennis, right? Uh, Janelle too, thank you so much. Yes. Great job. So, well, let's 
go back to the paragraph and also we will, I'm um, sorry, we'll go back, yes, or read the article again. And also we will try to answer this equations with true or false according to the, the conversation. Let's take a time for that. Let's go.
Oh, guys. Well, if you finished, please let me know when you finished uh, to complete the equations. Are you ready? Ready, teacher. Thank you. Ready. Okay, that's great. Well, let's see the conversations. Well, actually, we were we were like uh, talking about, you know, friends, and this is very interesting we, because we have friends, and also we have acquaintances. So we we understand that we have great people that are very close to us. And uh, these people are, you know, are very special because they have some personal qualities that are similar to our qualities and also we match as part of the personalities. Well, uh, it says your husband or wife cannot be your best friend. That according to the, uh, to the reading, it's true or false? It's true. False. False. Is, false. Is false, right? That's right. False. Yeah, so in that case, the best answer is false in this case. Many, many friends feel a connection when they first meet. True. Yes. True. All right. <laughs> okay, what about the number three? Every person um, definitely has a twin spirit. Nice to meet you. True. 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 Okay, um, guys, could you do me a favor? Uh, I'm gonna take less than um, a couple of seconds because I need to connect my charger. My laptop is about to, you know, die. So just give me one second, guys. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm ready. I'm sorry, guys. Now my laptop is ready for two or more hours. <laughs> okay, so we were sharing also important details about that one. So we're saying that according to this reading that the first one and was false, the second one was true. What about the third one? Every person definitely has a twin spirit. Yes? True or false? True. 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 Um, according to the camera, to the reading, in that case, uh, that will be a little false because you cannot have a twin spirit. And it's, it's something very personal, it's unique. We are unique. So um, definitely that there are some connections between some other people. But I mean, you, you are unique. And also you have a, a different spirit, but there is a, a very important connection. Um, se escucha como una distorsión. Yeah, it is much better now. Okay, number four. A stranger is the same as an acquaintance. What do you think? False. What is that? Is false? What? False. Yes. Uh, do you know what is the meaning about acquaintance in Spanish? Acquaintance. Acquaintance in Spanish is conocido. It's mean, it's not your friend, but it's a person you know. That is the difference. So when you see an acquaintance, so you know that you know the person is not a stranger. Okay, look at the next one. Uh, there are some students that they don't have the camera on, but aquí varios que no tienen su cámara encendida. Son bastantes. Uh, number five, help me with that one. A stranger is the same as a friend. True. True. False. Is false. false. Of course, in that case, is false. A stranger is the same as a friend. That is false. Because an acquaintance is similar to a friend. And the last one. Most friends have similar likes and dislikes. What do you think? True. true. Yes, that's correct. So in that case, the answer is true. All right, guys, you, you have done a great job today in this part. And I don't know if you have any comments or equation or do you agree or disagree about this? Yes, tell me about it. Comments. Also, you had a freedom to make a comment about the reading. So if you agree or not, so tell me about it. No. It's clear. That's interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Definitely interesting. Okay. Just to conclude the class, we have some time to respond to following questions. So guys, if you can take a picture and send it to the group, I will be more than glad that you have it. Uh, take the picture and send it to the WhatsApp group. You will respond to following questions according to the topics that we have been studying the use of going to. What are you going to do with your life? What plans do you have for dirt about your life? What are you going to do after this class? Where are you going to go for your next holiday? Are you going to meet anyone at the weekend? Are you going to watch television tonight? What books are you going to read next? When are you going to give up your bad habits? If you have bad habits, of course. If you don't have, don't worry. And the last one, what's the next big decision you're going to make? So for this one, I will give you some time to read and answer the following questions. After you answer the following questions, okay, we will have a short time to um, 
practice, you know, with our partners the following statements. Okay, who wants to do me the favor to share these questions to the group? Do me a favor, please. Okay, who's going to help us with this? Eh, ¿Quién nos puede tomar la foto para compartirla al grupo? Hay un voluntario, solo uno, por favor. Yes, ahí está, Dennis. Excellent. Thank you, Dennis. All right, so let's go with that. And I will stop sharing this screen because I need to pass the attendance list. And uh, just allow me one second because I need to check the list. So you listen to your name and you say present. And also try to answer the following questions. As you know, you can ask if you have some questions about vocabulary. You say, teacher William, uh, could you help me with the following exercise? And I will be more than glad to help you with this. Let's go. Let's see. Let's check the list. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Ada Agar Burgos? Ada? Present. Thanks. Present. Thank you. Uh, Blanca Elena Melara? Blanca? Uh, Christian Salatiel Molina? Present. Uh, Claudia Lisette Velasquez. Present teacher. Thanks. David Roberto Aquino. David. Denis Francisco Alvarado. Present teacher. Uh, Elena Gabriela Jovel. Elena. Esmeralda Isabel Martinez. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Giselle Emper Emperatriz Caños. Present. Um, Hector I Ivan Perez. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Jocelyn Stephanie Mejia. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Kenia Vanessa Corbera. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Marco Antonio Quijano. Present. Okay. Uh, Maria Elena Flores. Maria. And Oscar Antonio Ramos. Present teacher. Okay. Um, present teacher. Uh, who? Quien dijo present? Oscar. Oscar Antonio Ramos. Oh, yes. Teacher, yo se presente también de Elena Valle. Uh, teacher Blanca Marti, present. Oh, my God. So, uh, I didn't listen to your name. Eh, ¿Quién fue? Me dijo no, Valle, Valle, José sí, Valle. Elena Valle. Um, teacher, tenía apagado el micrófono. Elena Gabriela. Ah, yeah, usted era las... Yes, Thank yes. You. Yes, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Eh, uh, ¿Quién me dijo que tenía apagado el micrófono? Mi yo, teacher. ¿Quién yo? Blanca <ríe> María Elena. Oh. Uh, hmm. Ok, yes, yes. Ok, thank you. Eh, Rebeca Jonel Hernández. Rebeca Jonel. Present teacher. Ok. Uh, Vanessa Gabriela Hernández. 
Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Xiomara Elizabeth Hernández. Present teacher. Eh, Jessica, Jessica Esmeralda Martínez. Jessica. Eh, Jocelyn Elizabeth González. Jocelyn. Eh, por aquí está alguien que tiene un nombre eh, que no, o sea, que no tiene su nombre en la clase. No sé si, si está acá o no está, pero aparece que no tiene su nombre. Entonces necesito que se lo cambie. Lo dije al inicio de la, de la clase. Entonces, quien esté ahí conectado, por favor, le pido que ponga su nombre. Okay, students, uh, almost ready? Or do you have a question? I don't know, you have a freedom to ask. Ready? Uh, yes, I have a question. Yeah, tell me. About the, about the seventh uh, question, when, when are you going to give up your But I mean, what is the meaning? I, I don't understand it very well. Okay, well, I, I said in the number seven, I just will clarify that if you don't have bad habits, so it's uh, ignore the equation. This is related to that you have a bad habit or something bad that you need to stop. For example, people, most of the time, they don't exercise and they eat a lot of gra grassy food. So it's a bad habit. Or people who don't sleep for watching TV is a bad habit. People who consume um, like uh, too much cigarettes also could be a bad habit. Or someone who does something not uh, properly and uh, physically could be a bad habit. So that is the, the, the equation about it. Um, that's what I'm saying. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I understand it. Yeah. So in that case, that some of you don't have this one, pues si no tiene un mal hábito, pues no hay problema. Entonces, ignore this question. Okay. Also remember that um, 
I mean, you don't have to write uh, the, the, the answers. This is a kind of a spontaneous answer. So they ask you, what are you going to, where, where are you going to do after this class? Well, I'm going to watch television or I'm going to go to bed because I'm a little tired and I need to sleep. So you will be very spontaneous about your answers. Okay, so what we had to do in this moment is that we will work with the breakout rooms and in a briefly way, you will share your answers. Ustedes pueden dividirse las preguntas. Eh, van preguntándose una, uno, dos, tres, pa, para que todos puedan participar por el tiempo. Because we have a couple of minutes before we conclude this class. So, and let's work with the groups. And when we conclude, we do it. So, let's go. You ask and answer the equations. Um, the next book it is uh, Pensamientos Negativos en Una Vida Clara it is all ok very well bro thank you um, yo la última la, eh, it al design comercio del tiempo y la A, get married and have a family. Oh, wow. Awesome. Very good. No sé si, si nos preguntamos al otro que, que quisiera responder de las preguntas. Falta el teacher responder. ¿Mande? Falta el teacher que responda una. Ah, es cierto. Le tocan al teacher las primeras tres. 
Ah, sí. Too easy, too easy. <laughs> no, keep on working. I just listen it. Okay, thank you. Great. Right. Okay. Si quieren, lo que podemos hacer es preguntarnos así al azar. Yes. Sí. sí. Uh, Marco. Yes. What book are you going to read next? Uf. Okay. De momento. Well, I'm going to read a book about personal development, things like develop social skills or improve my logic. Or read about philosophy. I, I don't know, bro, but I will read something interesting. And I like okay. it. Okay. It is okay. Uh, Oscar, what are you going to do after this class? What are you going to do after the class? Yes. The number two questions. Um. <laughs> Are you going to sleep? It is okay. Are you going to sleep? Yeah. Eso sería. Okay. También ir a hacer otras cosas, ver si hay algo que lavar o algo así para ayudar a mi esposa. Yes, awesome. Pero no sé cómo se dice. Ah, oh, tal vez es eso. Tendría que formularlo. Okay. Ask for me. Um, five. Are you going to watch television tonic? No, yes. Um, I'm going to watch a series. Um, I love I love it. Netflix and I don't see I don't like see televisions, but I prefer the the platforms with Netflix, HBO, Disney. Is more easy for me. Yeah, I prefer. Oh, HBO is a very good streaming platform. Yes, I have a good series and interesting movies, right? Yes, yes. It's incredible that material is okay, right? Yes, it's very Marco, um, yes. what's the next big decision you're going to make? Quiero ver. Uy, esa sí no la respondí. Vaya, quiero ver. Right. <laughs> The next big decision, let me think. Probably where are you going to work? Probably. All right. Probably. Because if we ask, because if I think that the biggest decision in my life. In my life, I have already taught two kids. All right. Okay, um, Oscar. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, Oscar. What are you going to do with your life? Um, where are you going? Okay, students, you know, the time was not enough this time, so we had to conclude our class today. So uh, congratulations, because you have gotten an incredible effort and also an incredible improvement during this course. And I hope that you will get like better opportunities in the next one. Don't stop keep it up working so hard and also do your best. I know that you have a great potential and I'm pretty sure that your English level will be perfect as fast as you can. So thank you so much guys for staying here in this class. And uh, we conclude, it has been a great pleasure.
please don't forget to complete the exercises in the platform. If you haven't completed some of them or the last one, try to complete it because uh, they will be checking tomorrow the exercises. So thank you guys for um, having part of this class and I wish you good luck. Don't stop, keep it at working so hard and enjoy English. So thank you guys and have a beautiful night to all of you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Nice. Thank you, Super. teacher. Super. Bye. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you teacher. Bye. Good evening. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank, -bye. thank you, Thank you, thank you. See you. Bye. See you. It's a See pleasure. You. See you. Thank you. You too. Thank you so much. Gracias por su paciencia. It's a pleasure. Have a good time, Oscar. All right.